What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Aries. What's up Aries? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Aries as a sun, moon, rising or Venus. All right, Aries, so this week, I'm doing this a little differently, okay? So I'm going to basically just do whatever comes out. It's not going to be a structured reading much. I'm going to pull three different oracles, and then we're going to just clarify. Um, kind of straight, easy and straight to the point. So let's see. Aries. All right, bottom of the deck is March, okay? Something about another Aries or a Pisces could be significant. Heel. All right, you have Hills Boot, and you have Lion and Dog Barking. So I feel like these two are separate, so I'm going to treat them as separate. You have Obstacles to Overcome, Increase Your Efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So there's something here that you want. There's something here that you want, and um, there's obstacles to get what you want. So are you going to cave in, or are you going to fight for what you want? Okay, um, I feel like this could be very transformative for you. Go watch your current path reading, um, Aries, because I feel like that could help you with this if you haven't already. Um, this also, you could be dealing with a Leo. You also have time to act and advice from a friend. I feel like somebody's going to tell you, you better put a pep in your step. What is this heels um, and boo? Ace of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. In, um, Ace of Wands is in reverse, though. So there's a new beginning that's not happening, but it's clear that you want it. I feel like it's not happening because you're not doing anything to sustain it. Okay, that's why you're feeling left out in the cold. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're not doing things how you want to do them with the Ace of Cups in reverse. And that's making things a lot harder. Because with the moon, you know there's nothing to be to fear here. So it's like you're causing the stagnancy. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not putting in the work. Okay, it's going to be about a job situation. Um, take it how it resonates. What is this lion and dog barking? Six of Wands and the Tower in reverse. I feel like this person, um, this friend that's telling you this advice to act towards something is telling you that something could actually be successful and work out. You just have to, you're just refusing to change. You're you're refusing to allow something to change. And that could be why, um, you know, they're telling you to act on it. But you could be refusing to change. <laughs> I don't know. Hit that how that resonates. I don't even know where to put these. Right here, right here. All right. So that's that. Let's keep going. Aries. Aries. You have adventures and flexibility with purity at the bottom of the deck. So um, I feel like there's going to be a period of fun that's coming in here. I feel like you might feel a little guilty about it. Don't. Okay, with the purity here, you're absolutely innocent, like you're fine. I feel like the universe is telling you to make it work. Okay, with the flexibility, I feel like you'll be able to make it work. And just be and just be able to, you know, be flexible with it. Okay, what is this flexibility and adventures? You have the nine of pentacles, the ten of wands, and the two of pentacles. Everything is perception. Okay, everything is perception. So I feel like you're looking at something like, oh, this is too much to handle. This is this has become a burden. But with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you've never felt so free. You've never felt so, um, how can I say this, independent is what I'm saying. But I feel like with the flexibility, it's just like you're there's there's a there's a there's such a an energy of control here. It's like you want something to 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 fit within your schedule and, and, or something like that but I, I feel like it's it's not meant for it to fit you I feel like you're meant to fit it like you have to adjust and this is part of this lesson that you're going through or this part of this transformation for some of you that you could be going through is that you have to kind of get out of this ego that you have to control everything and that you have to be part of everything I'm an I'm an Aries too and I went through my ego death I'm currently still going like the ego death is is always forever like but I have I have worked on myself for the last um, few years now um, on cutting that ego death. And as an Aries, I can say that we have to 
And again, every single zodiac sign has their thing, right? But with Aries, it's like we have we feel like we have to always put on this front, like, yeah, no, I don't need to do that, or yeah, I'm the boss, I'm the leader, I'm gonna, you know, because that's what we were born into and our lives have were built around Aries takes charge. Aries gonna do it, Aries gonna do it, and we always, you know, or we were led to a life where a lot of people depended on us. So we had to kind of, you know, put up that soldier, be be the boss, you know. But now it's coming into your life where you don't have to be a boss anymore. Where you don't have to have so much control and allow and just have fun with the adventures. Like, literally just have fun. Like, let loose. Um, this is a time for you to enjoy right now, Aries. It's kind of what I'm getting. Okay. All right. I'm gonna <laughs> do this. All right, let's see what else. I wanna pull more, so I'm gonna pull more. Aries. All right, you have hostilities and angel of strength. You could definitely be dealing with the Leo here with this angel of strength. So the universe wants is telling you that you're going to have to defend your name. You're going to have to um, stand up for what you believe in. And I feel like you're strong enough for this. It's like you're de you're defending your your temple here. You're defending your truth. That's kind of what I'm getting with the fifth chakra. They want you to stand up and defend yourself. Speak up for yourself if needed. You know, like don't allow nobody to try to come and tell you anything. What is this um, hostilities and angel of strength? You know, the two of wands and the judgment. Yeah, I mean, this is going to, it's, it's like people are going to back you up into a corner and you're going to be forced to make a decision. Judgment day, judgment day. And it's crazy because the people that have put you into this corner don't realize how strong you are. And it's crazy because people that have put you up on this corner are people who you, you, who you defended before, who you stood up for, you know? Like I'm, it's get it's giving like stabbed in the back type of energy. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, but this is happening because the universe wants you to see that you. This could be a job situation, but this is happening so the universe can see that to help you see that there's no growth somewhere. You can't grow somewhere. You can't. I don't care how much money they give you. I don't care how much status you have there. Three of Pentacles in reverse. It's not. They're not on your side. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're having a hard time releasing the fact that um, you know, this is happening. But, you know, karma exists, so don't worry about don't try to be petty and do anything back. Allow them to do whatever they want to do, be how they want to be because you do have happiness coming with the 10 of cups. You just got to get through this first, okay? All right, spirit Aries, what else? This could have all stemmed from March energy is kind of what I'm getting. You have a time for healing and step out of the comfort zone with expect powerful change. So, um, you need to heal. You need to, there's something here that you don't want to do that you know you need to do here. And it makes you uncomfortable. And I feel like it has to do with healing. It has to do with you opening up. But it's going to bring in change that's been needed for a while, Aries. What is a time for healing and step out of your comfort zone? Two of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. It's like you've decided to close off your heart. It's like you decided, nope, I'm not loving. I'm not opening my heart. Nope, nope, nope. You're being advised to not do that. And if you're doing that, you're in for a rude awakening, my love. Okay, I'm being so honest. The Chariot in reverse. Look at this. I, I went through how you're feeling about this. Oh, I'm going to close my heart. I'm going to close my heart um, two years ago. And that's why I'm telling you, you're in for a rude awakening. Okay. Um, I'm also an Aries. Did I ever say that? I did. I was in a situation like that too. And I was like, you know what? F this. F love. Like I'm closing off. I don't care. And when I tell you that I got the message real quick, I mean, I meditate and stuff like that. So I'm in tune. But um, it was kind of like, you can't close yourself off to one part of your life and expect anything else around you to move with the chariot in reverse something is going to come to a quick halt a quick stop because you do this and you're going and you're going to automatically know like you're going to be like wow like that literally something could happen with your car with the with the chariot in reverse um or this could be um this could be 
something that you were trying to move forward with stops working. Like that you've been trying to do here at the higher family verse. It could be you leaving a job or something like that. Okay. Or you losing a job. But whatever this is, it's like you can't close yourself off to love because love is the highest frequency. Love attracts everything. So if you close yourself off to love, you're not attracting anything and you're going to become stagnant and nothing is going to come towards you. Instead, things are going to be repelling and trying to leave you, right? Um, so, you know, that's, that could be why things are coming for a halt. Like things are not going to come towards you. Instead, they're, they're either going to stop or um, remove themselves. So this is why I'm telling you, like, and I know it's probably difficult because there's a reason why you're closed off, but that's why the universe is saying you need to heal because you're closed off because you're still holding on to pain, right? You, you still think that whatever happened to you in the past is going to happen to you going forward, you know, going forward. You don't have faith that you can, you can enter a new love situation and it'd be fine. N not saying that you're going to, right? But it's like, you have to have, you have to be open to it. Because the universe will bring it to you when you need it the most. And right now, you need healing. That is what you need the most. And even though your life might not be showing you that, maybe right now you're like, no, what do you mean? I need money. I, I need this. I need to get my car. I need to do this. And I need to do that. Yeah, that's all material stuff. None of that matters because you leave here and none of that matters. What matters is the inside. You, your soul, your spirit. How is your soul feeling? Your soul is still hurting from some pain that you haven't worked through that you have now closed access to healing that part of yourself. Imagine imagine yourself when you were a kid, right? When you were a child and you were in one in one of the craziest situations that you that you ever experienced as a child, right? The most tormentous one. Think about yourself in that situation. How would you feel if someone just closed the door at your face? I mean, a lot of us probably went through that. But let's just say that somebody opened the door and was about to come and help you, right? And they just slammed the door in your face. Put yourself in your 10-year-old or your 12-year-old shoes. How would you feel then? That's exactly how your soul, how your spirit is feeling right now. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're closing yourself off to yourself. You're, 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 you're not giving yourself the access to heal. And I know I'm going on a, on a rant, but some of you guys need to hear this because I don't want you guys to miss out on opportunities because you're closing yourself off. And if I learn this, I'm going to preach it, right? As soon as I open myself up, and trust me, I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to um, because I was I was in pain, but I was like, you know what? The universe, does, it, it doesn't matter if you do it... Um, if you do it and you're scared, you're still, the universe is still going to reward you, okay? Because fear, we're supposed to be using fear to propel us, not hold us back. But if you do something out of bad intention, then that's different, right? I wanted to open up. I was just scared to. So I opened up. And lo and behold, here come all the damn blessings, okay? And um, it, it, it's, it, it's also the way the universe showing you, like, don't, we're supposed to be, like, childlike, you know? Don't hold grudges. Don't. You know, every, if, if the person hurt you, they hurt you, they're lost, move on, right? Th whatever they did, the next person isn't going to do to you. And you have to be able to believe that because now you can make better choices, right? Because you learned. If you learned from the past, if you went in there and you looked at everything that happened and you learned from there, then you know going forward, I'm not going to make the same. I'm not going to make the same choices. I'm not going to choose the same person. I'm not going to choose the same qualities because this and this and this was in this person, and I learned this and this from that person. So now moving forward, I'm a pick. I'm going to make sure that when those things come up, I remove myself from that, or you know, I don't choose that. However, it is that you want to do it, but it's like, you know. It, you're being like your whole life is being like shifted to look at a whole different like this reminds me of me two years ago like it's like you're looking at everything in a whole completely different way now but this is good this is growth this is expansion all right one more 14 14 angel number on the clock okay when I just look ooh, ooh. okay it's those two it's those two. Oops, sorry. All right. Bottom of the deck is balance. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm hearing something got to go. Something got to go that you don't want to, but it has to. All right. You have doubt and envy. Don't doubt it. <laughs> don't doubt it. Some of you guys could be like, 
are they really jealous of me? Are they and I and I don't want to make this sound like a um like a um this could be you being jealous of someone else, having envy of someone else. Um, but this could also be the first thing I got was they're doubting them. And yes, this they're doubting this envy energy. That there is an energy around you that is envious. I'm going to clarify these differently. What is this envy? Who is this person? Why are they envious? What is this? The devil, the page of swords in reverse and the eight of cups with the moon. Could be a cancer. So somebody that you walked away from. This person spies on you. They're obsessed with you. They are obsessed with you. Look at somebody who you walked away from. Okay. Or they walked away from you. The moon, the hierophant and the chariot. They're scared that you're going to move on to bigger and greater things. Some of you guys could be like a like a spiritual person with the hierophant or you know a lot of knowledge. Like this person knows that you're intelligent. So that could be what they're envious of is how much you know. Okay. What is this doubt? It could be a Capricorn. Ace of Swords in reverse, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Um, the six of cups is here. You could have children with this person. Um, there's a commitment or something here that you're doubting because it's not, um, because it's not, um, it's not clear. There's something about this commitment or this foundation that is not clear. I, I, I feel like you do share, you know, caring, um, emotions for each other. Like I feel like there's love here, but Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Seven of Wands. But it's like the clear thing is that someone isn't fighting for this. There's an energy where someone isn't fighting for this, and that is that is what's missing. There's not enough. There's not enough. Um, the Magician, the Nine of Cups, and the Fool. Ooh, but you're manifesting a new beginning. You're manifesting your wish. Someone's manifesting their wish here. Okay. It could be a a, a, a reunion or reconcile reconciliation coming that you don't see um so yeah aries that's all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive